and welcome back to Shrine Tutorials for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> this shrine is north of Hatno Village, near the beach. You're going to follow the coastline further north, and if you see this floating guy, you're going the right direction. Eventually, you're going to stumble upon a cave in the side of the wall. That cave is called Deep Back Bay Cave. You're going to find two of the Horoblins in there, so you're going to have to kill those guys. Lots of goodies in here, too, so, you know, it's a good place to be. There's the second one back there. They're both black Horoblins, so you're going to have to hit them quite a few times. As you can see, there is a shrine there in the water. Uh, if the Horoblins are up above you, they are going to throw rocks at you. Try not to get hit with those. Yep, they're hard to get when they're up there. I suggest potentially using fire fruit or bombs to knock them down. Uh, I was out of arrows when I did this shrine, so I'm just chucking stuff at them. You know, the old-fashioned way. And I keep missing, so we're going to switch to bombs. Kaboom. Yes, make sure you hit them while they're down. That's an important step to beating these things. Black Horoblin Horns, very helpful for fusing. I like to drop a save whenever I beat the Black Horoblins, especially because I'm early in the game. Uh, I did the smart thing and just knocked him down into this little hole. Much easier. So now that he's down there and kind of out of my way, I'm going to go investigate this shrine. As you can see, it's out in the water. Oh, I beat the other Horoblin. Don't lose that stick. Alright, so if you go out there and take a look, you think you might be able to enter it from where you are at, uh, but you cannot. Um, so I went out there real quick just to take a look, and at a certain point you can stand, but that's actually like the cool arch thing that's on the, the shrine. It's not an island, so you can't get in there right this moment. The trick is to fall down into the cave. Um, you're going to notice, or well, the music's off. The, the danger music's going to start playing. Um, and that's because there is danger. Um, I just haven't looked at them yet. Don't worry, I'm just ignoring scary stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for, oh, there it is. So you're going to have to fight a like-like. Um, standard stuff. Um, you're going to use the bomb flower to hit it. It's going to pop its little tongue out, and then you're going to whack it until it dies. Afterwards, you're going to want to use a bomb flower and throw it at these rocks. So, or shoot it. I don't have arrows, remember? So we blow that up, and the water starts pouring down into the bottom. This drains the pool that the shrine was sitting in, and you will now have access to the shrine. Use Ascension to pop back up, and you'll be right there at the Anidamimic Shrine. This is in East Nakluda. Go ahead and enter the shrine. This one is going to use Recall. To solve the puzzle. Alright, when you enter the shrine, you're going to see a stone that you can hit to activate some sort of thing. There's a ball rolling, and as you can see, there is a, uh, a ball receptacle. I was not able to figure out how to get to that chest. If you can figure it out, drop a comment. Help the other people in the group. How did you get to that chest? 
basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up here on the platform and you're going to access recall. Ball is going to come out of the chute. You're going to wait for it to roll down. You'll activate recall and use it on the ball. After you use it on the ball, you're going to whack the orb and the ball is going to roll right back into the receptacle. This will stay in there as long as recall is active. Once you do that, you can just walk into the chamber. And boom, you've solved another shrine. See you next time for another shrine tutorial.